Hello, viewers. Welcome to the Great British Coin Hunt. Um, I'm CJ Hannah. I'm just filling in a little slot. Um, morning. I am on early. The reason I'm on early, Will, is I have um, a busy, quite a busy day ahead. Um, part of it, not so nice. The next part is nice. However, um, obviously, we do things live. We are not pre-recorded so obviously behind the scenes morning nanny sue sorry i'm being rude behind the scenes we do have lives um we are not pre-recorded um nothing's happening nanny um i'm just jumping on because like i said we all have busy lives behind the screen um and i just thought i'd let us all know that if it's not continuous and we are not on 12 till whatever or first thing in the morning last thing at night this is because we do not pre-record any of our streams everything is live what you see is what you get um obviously i'm never dressed like this <laughs> so i am off out not quite yet but i will be with you until about 12 o'clock um but i just thought you know, i'd jump on and give us all a little shout and let you know that obviously we are busy we do have families we do have friends we do have other things kids life is what we have behind the screen um so just in case i don't get to do it beforehand i'd like to wish us all a very merry christmas morning disney because obviously I'm, i will just be jumping on and off where i can over the next couple of days there won't be no fixed schedule for me it will be as and when i can get on and if nobody else is on obviously um other people do like to stream uh but i just seen that nobody was on and I don't, I'm not quite sure if anybody is even on a day. Um, so I just thought I would pop on and just say hello to you all. Sorry, I'm just answering um, a message. I do have my phone on vibrate. So, are you all done for Christmas? Because I'm sure we're not. If you hear a banging in the background, that's the dog playing with his ball. He does have toys, however, he prefers to play with the ball. I'll show you two new coins that I've just received. Um, I don't think you see it because of the light. It's better. The winning, I so said, it's a 10 pence raffle has sold out and no number or winner listed. Um, I'm not quite sure if that is because there's very little people in the office um, and it's a case of Logan catching up or Warren, because I do believe... 
Warren keeps an eye on that as well. Uh, Disney, mine breaks up Friday, quarter past one. Yes, I know there's someone live, Warren. What I'm saying is that it will be as and when we can get on. Obviously, because we'll have lives behind the scenes. Not that there won't definitely be nobody on. No, I don't want Bixby's listening to us. Um, Oh, well, there you go. Warren's confirmed it. A to Z album was won by Angela. What, I'm, what I was saying was, depending on what people are doing. Oh, there you go. And A to Z 10 P's was Warren. So there's your winners off yesterday. That, obviously... The coins I'm taught. I know she won the album. Oh, Warren won the A to Z coins. Like you say, the website will be updated when, I guess, Logan or whoever has the time to actually update the website. Yeah, there's raffles all the time, Nanny Sue. Um, no doubt there'll be a new raffle put up. Anyway, uh, this is another coin, which is based on the penny black stamp. Can't really see because of the light I've got. But this is a fab coin, this is black. It's quite nice. The world's first blackened 50 pence coin. And it's called the Pearl Black. I've just bought five tickets for the Kew Gardens raffle. Hoping that's shut. Morning, Ron. Coins number 56. Is that the one you mean, Nanny Sue? It's um, <coughs> called the Pearl Black. But it is black. See if I can get a I'll show you in comparison to another coin. Another 50p. Let me turn this light off, you'll be able to see better. The Pearl Black. Um, is 12.46, but then obviously you have to pay tax on that. So it would be 14.95 altogether. Oh, no, Nanny. Yeah, if you look on Pearl Black. But it's a fab coin. 
to have i'm going to see if i can make a difference by turning this light out It's probably too dark now. No. Oh, there. You can see how black the coin is compared to this coin. But it's fab. Um, I'll see if I can get you a, a link. I don't know if that has that come up as a link. Yeah. So if you click on there, it'll take you straight to the. Yeah, the the but it'll take you straight to the penny black. But they really do have some beautiful coins on Pop Joy Mint, Nanny. They really do. It's sort of like I could just spend an absolute fortune. I really could. But obviously, no. But they are beautiful. But the banner. Oh, that's a good deal for you all. Bannister Scouts Guides Britannia, 50p's in bunk, only 7 95 and it finishes this weekend. So get yourself over to the Great British Coin Hunt. <coughs> I feel like I'm sitting in the dark. But yeah, once you've all been over to Pub Joy, get back. <laughs> I'll actually um, find those. I need to put. I need to put the light on. I'll find. I'll find those coins and show you what coins they are, just in case you don't. Morning, Steve. Um, just in case you don't know what coins they are. However, I need a light. Hmm. 
This is Roger Bannister. Obviously, you'll get it in unk form. And not like this. Out. Again, you'll not get it like that. you'll get it in bunk form, not just as a coin. This is the girl guides. And then this is Britannia. Yes, I know they're the 2019 ones. What I'm saying is those are the coins that they are. And they are the 2019 commemorative coins for... The 50 years of 50 P's. I had to be organised for Christmas this year as I'm going away. What are you all up to this Christmas? I'm spending Christmas with my children. And my son's mother-in-law are oh, you not well sue One of those coins on the site, so I can put a link up to them. Because I can't find them.
Right, I think I found them. Yep. So, there is the link to the coins that are on for seven ninety five this weekend. The only difference being is they are dated 2019 and not the dates that are in my collection. But they are exactly the same coins bar the date. But those ones aren't intended for circulation. They are a Use your cords and get them for four ninety five. There you go, guys. Use your cords. Edgar's on my table, so can you chuck me a link, please, Hannah? I'll try to show you what. Two seconds, I'll mute my mic. What link do you want, um, Steve? Right, there you go, Steve. I was uh, I was thinking, what link? See, this is what happens when people come in and confuse us. It doesn't take much. Actually, Warren, I am Roman Catholic. There's a little something you didn't know about me.
but it's, it's we. I feel weird this year because we're having dinner at my son's house, and even though it's only seven doors away, um, because I'm not stressing about my table or anything like that. I just feel like it's not Christmas, as mad as that sounds. So. And Christmas, obviously, is a hard time for me anyway. Um, I have a son that should be here, that isn't. So I spend my Christmas Eve at the churchyard. Just waiting for Steve to show his face and he can come on and show his coin. I'm getting a right rocket with that ball dog. You're fetch not been halfway back to me, so uh, yeah. oh, I me. He does have toys. Hello. Hello. I got a coin. I thought you all might like seeing. Uh, look at this old baby. I thought this was going to be the same size as a two pound coin as a two pound coin. <laughs> Which is Antarctic territory, but it's one of our Nash treasures, says David Attenborough. But it's for the Royal Research Ship, which they weren't called Boaty McBowface, like the little submarine, but issued by British Antarctic Territories, available on Pub Joy for 1495, yeah. 15 quid. But it's the same size as a crown. Was it? I was looking at that, obviously, because of the. David Attenborough, and I thought, yeah, it'd be a monster in size. So it's, the, I consider that David Attenborough point? to be a national treasure. Yep, but yeah, and end of the day, British Antarctic territories, you aren't going to find any. But uh, yeah, it's it's a stonking size, and for Warren who likes his crowns, <laughs> uh, I always find crowns to be a waste of time because they're a crown and they have. Uh, no, uh, Warren likes wreaths at Christmas. Money she Steve, you froze. You keep freezing it's like now we lost the sound. Looks like my connection's breaking everything down, but yeah, I've got a and like a normal crown case to put it in. But lovely company, which well, happened is getting on a bit. I reckon he's all push it. So, a nice little investment coin for just 15 quid. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to pop over and get one then. Because when I was looking at it, I was thinking, will I, will I? Because I didn't know what size it was. But I'm going to now go over and order one. Looks like me being on here is freezing everything. Well, we we'll put on there. I like crowns from the Great British Coin Hunt. <laughs> Dizzy's asking, didn't you get banned from church? I don't think no, you Warren's can't get banned from church. He's got three sixes tattooed on his ass. No, you can still you can still go into church, Louise, even if they don't agree with your lifestyle. And um, okay. no church can actually turn you away by law. I want to dip out of the feed again because it looks like I'm just killing it. Um, but no, no church can ban you, Louise. <laughs> Whether I can hardly can it, says, and I'm same for her with me. So I shall bow out. But lately, how can they ban you from church? You can seek refuge in a church. Is it not two in that one parcel? You must have done something pretty horrific to be banned from a church. Is that the same night that you stole the wreath, Warren? Because I wore a wreath on my head in the book. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think you banned you. You probably just said, get out. <laughs> Remove the wreath and you can come back in. It's American. Um... That's probably what he meant. Take the wreath off, go and put it back on somebody's door and come back in. <laughs> this this one's not as wobbly, Kieran, but that one. Is it still the same priest? Because if it's not even the, in fact, he probably won't even remember your face. There's like his congregation on, was it Christmas Eve? Would would have been quite big. You're not welcome in this church. Well, I'm very surprised at a priest even seeing that. Well, that's all that's in the bag. I don't think he was taking the coins off the collection tree. Exactly. He'll have been telling the church which ones to keep a hold of and which ones were no good. Oh, Kieran, you might need this. Do you believe that that's from there? Well.
I'd take a cue out of the collection if I saw it there. <laughs> but would you replace it with another one? Well, with another 50 pence, though, Louise. That is the question. Or would you give them a pound for the 50 pence? <laughs> I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that. Morsin? Morsin? I took a chocolate battalion. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I, honestly, I took a Britannia in. Yeah. Um, I think I would probably tell the priest how much it was worth. And probably do a deal with him. But was, I'm saying if it was a 2008, I would be like, um, I, I wouldn't be able to. No, don't, I don't know. No, I'd be too honest. I really would. I'd make a deal with a um, with a priest. I'd tell I would be saying this is a 2008 Q, you know, and this is there's this is how much it's worth. But I'll do a deal with you. I'm sure he'd dig a deal. Sure he would. <clears throat> yes, are all shocking. I'd say it was fake and replace it for him with some shrapnel. Louise would just slightly swap it, unbeknown to the priest. <laughs> I put one of Madeline's 50p magnets in just to watch him try and pick it up. I super glue a quid on my front every day, so I'm trying to pick it up. What, you glue the quid on yourself? I super glue a quid on my front every day. Are you, like, do you mean the front path? On the front path. I, I might do that. But I might do one of the old quids and colour the middle in silver so that I actually think it's a new quid. And sit and watch them. I'll just put a link up to all your raffles to do.
One of the kids' friend was trying to look at the 50p in our fridge. He was getting so wound up, I was laughing my head off. <laughs> How? So we can set these ones to find on black as I mean thing. But the um, Huge market for Magna coins. Do you know what? Um, somebody had actually asked me where I'd get them from, but I do believe that Ian is in. Is he not in um, talks with or oh, getting somebody to do these for him and putting them on the on the site? Exactly. It'll be worth a fortune. Have oh, the Royal Mint not jumped on this yet? Yeah, I, that's what I thought, Dragon, um, Dragon, well, Dragon Lord Steve, whichever one, that's what I thought he was doing, working something out with Madeline to um, actually get them put on the site so you can all buy them. We really kept seeing something, so I couldn't just be laughing so much about something. Okay, no, I didn't say anything. I was going to buy that, Steve, till M told me no. Just bought you that set for Christmas. She nearly punched me. You probably could, Warren. <laughs> Louise don't be upsetting Emily just before Christmas. You won't be getting any presents. So I'm surmising it's um, Logan is holding the fort with Ian being away and John's in hospital. Um, so it will be Logan who's holding the fort over at Great British Coin Hunt. Is 
that is a massive, massive market that, Warren. Absolutely huge market for it, A to Z, 10p magnetic coins. And it also teaches them about money. So not only is it the alphabet, it's money. It's all the different things that are on the co each coins. Hmm. I think I would buy them from the um, for the grandkids. No, they won't care about the. Uh... But obviously, for all them that are trying to get into yeah, the woods, Steve. It's a, because I've noticed with the kiddies ones that you tend to have to slide them off the fridge to for them to do that. But with these, you can just pull them off. Mm. I mean, this one, it's a nightmare. You can't get your fingers. Well, you, you can't, but you struggle. But I, I do have them on. I'm doing them for nine budget. <laughs> now, now, boys, let's not start the budget bidding war. Well, I think you'll have to have a word with Steve. <laughs> Start to bidding war. <laughs> well, Steve, I'm going to do them for £9.60. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not, seriously. <laughs> Um, I haven't got the time. Two, I haven't got the patience. Three, I think the kids would have a fit in colours, so I wouldn't be do it. Be here to do any of it. Nine pound fifty. Ah, but you see, the ten percent goes to charity. What are you doing with your fifty? Come on then, Steve, cough up. What are you doing? Is that other 50p going to charity?
You can always undercut me, Steve, because I am not doing them. <laughs> right, I'm going to do them for a fiver. I mean, can you even buy the coin for a fiver? <clears throat> it is, I think it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity for a, it really is. However, you can now see the Royal Mint jumping on this bandwagon, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Because everything else have jumped on. No, I was saying, what was he doing with these other 50p's, Warren? <laughs> if he was undercutting you by 50p and giving 10% to a charity, what would he be doing with the other 50p? Yeah, but I think Madeline's come up with an absolutely fantastic idea and she seriously needs to get it uh, painted or whatever. Um, so she gets the credit for it. Credit given where credit's due. I still can't believe I haven't wrapped anything. Not at all with. Oh, well, see, Warren, we're at, they'll probably do the same with the Peter Rabbit and bring them back out again and say limited edition. Because wasn't Peter Rabbit a limited edition? So let's see if they remain limited edition or limited mintage, sorry. Because Royal Mint just do what they like. Isn't that how the Peter Rabbit and the Gruffalo came about being released because they said they were limited look at the conflicts they do and the yeah I've, I've had a look yep neither can Louise I really can't I'm like that uh, bring it on Because then that way, they're not paying the ridiculous prices that they're up for now. Oh, Steve, did I show you this? I know it's not the one that you have. But I thought, if Billy Jo sees it, she'll probably want one. So, thought while I was over there, I'd grab it. Yeah, Louise. 
I forgot you gave me the link as well. No, Kira, I think we news on the 5th, isn't it? Two seconds, I'll check for you. I'm having six months off from buying coins. I'll just beg people to send me them. Feel free, Warren. They might send you some. Oh, I don't want. <laughs> Actually, there was a. What was I look? Oh, it might have been on Pop Joy. That was going to get for um for Billy Joe. But I am going to get to some of the older coins from the Great British Coin Hunt. However, it's finding the time. To actually go on. Yeah, my bed was cosy as well at uh, six o'clock this morning. Stream from your bed, Warren, as long as you're covered. I don't think anybody would be bothered. Yeah, I mean, do we? You might get these room figures up. Quite possibly, quite possibly. However, could also go the other way. The mouse is not working.
Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Dowie. I'll just let you continue talking about the fish. Kill the fish.
Oh, I was just doing something um, that'll please Warren. Um, I might sell one of his raffles out. Um, so I was just busy. Looking at something. Um, well, you'll have to get out of bed and find out, Warren. Even if you are cosy and warm. The ruffles that you make. Hard this a second. But I help you sell one out anyway. And then you I used to can you still do gauze? Actually it might have sold out now. It's Christmas, Warren. You should be in a good mood. Isn't that the whole spirit of Christmas? Just ignore me a minute. Finish the year 12 soon. Oh, my God. I'd be drove around the bend. Rather you than me. I think tomorrow's soon enough. My heating's on constant, Sue. Thank you, Sue. I 
can't count, eh? Not a deal, can it anyway? I think I've just made me sell some numbers up. Hey! Well, I'll check this. Give it, give it, give it. Oh, has somebody turned into He Man? I have the power. <coughs> I'm sorry I have no other new coins to show. Um, I am waiting for coins coming in the post from the Great British Coin Hunt that I have ordered um, to complete some of Billy Joe's collection. Um, I do believe I'm on the way. I got an email yesterday saying I had two, two, two orders. Yeah, I think it was two orders done yesterday. But I don't know unless somebody else knows whether you can actually get because I quite like them in these little folders. Um, obviously, this is one which is full of commemoratives. Oh, she's got that coin. Two seconds. Because I ordered. No, I didn't order that one. She was... And I'm waiting for um, Dave Cullen to tell me whether he received his coin that I posted. There, there's a bad boy that I want to put in here for him. Obviously, this hasn't got 
the 2008 Q in it. But then the next one, I have bought, I've just bought, been over and bought 30 tickets, Warren, for a, this one hasn't got, I'm just wondering if there's a volume three of this, because this is the starter album. Um, but I do like to put Billy Joe's in these ones and not the little plastic ones that I have coming for myself because her Peter Rabbits are like this as well. And I just think make them look so much better when they're displayed properly. I have to read <laughs> because our two pounds are like this. I don't know why I haven't got Brunel's arches. I mean, it's one of the most common ones. And Robert Burns. But that is on his way. And Britannia is on its way. And that will have completed, I do believe, her two pound coin collection. Because, what, which one of her? I can't remember which one I've bought for her off, of, uh, off the Great British Coin Hunt. However, if she doesn't win by me spending 30 of, well, 3,000 of my points on a queue, I'm not bothered because there's a little trick up my sleeve. Oh, love from Ocean. My Jack. What have you sent me? <laughs> Bag of Maltesers, thank you very much. <laughs> the Hannah and Billy Joe, Love from Oceans. Thank you. I'm sure. Me and Edgar will enjoy these. Um, the ocean, Edgar will love them. Yeah, the they are a bit of a a rip off. However, I just think for a child starting out, they are ideal. Um, but I couldn't find the fifty p one. Um, and like I said, they are. Fabulous, and they were a gift from Madeline herself. Um, 
So she gave them to Billy Joel to display her collection. And they are quite nice when they are sat. They look like boots. But I will, I did get one of these. Do you know what But I did get the first one, Madeline, to display that other one's in. And she has something else coming at Christmas. Okay. I love kids. Love them. Oh, sorry, Louise. Yeah, a little um Madeline, do you know if there is a volume three of the fifty Ps? Because when I was looking, I couldn't find one, but I was thinking surely it's, they've got to be they've got to be out. But I'm giving this one, I'm passing this one to my granddaughter with it not having sort of any in it just says let's start but i'm giving this to my granddaughter and she can start putting our little 50 peas in just so i'll give her some of the spare ones that i have commemorative and she can just pop them in there so every time she pops along i'll just give her a, a 50p to pop in and this will start her collection off she does have the Peter Roberts, all of them. I just need to buy her some folders to put hers in. Um, and then I'm going to start one for my grandson. No, not that I know of, might be going to make one. Yeah, I just thought because of all the other 50 pences that are out, which are commemorative ones, I just thought it was a bit strange that it was only volume one and two. Unless I forgot to make one. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's different for older kids. They might not want. What is it? It's a present, but it got soaked, Cameron. So I'm waiting for the box to dry out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. However, it just looks disgusting because some of the, it looks like something greasy was spilt. No, sorry, I've just experienced something there. My son. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I was thinking they were a bit slow on the uptake of um, mm -hmm. the next album. Awesome. These albums come on, not music albums. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mate. I thought I could find this. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Can I put that under there? Mm. Probably not. Because of which way you've ripped it. It was not too. Yeah, you're going to have to put some um, foil, preferably, around them. Yeah, cut my bit off there. Can I pop them back in the back in the box? Yeah. Oh, there's a thing here for your camera. I'm surmising it's a certificate. Another one. Because it says, please do not bend. So it's got to be a certificate from college. Or <laughs> there might be a missing uh, exam results from school. Imagine. Yeah, that will be good. However, highly unlikely. Well, yeah. Yes, exam results. I'm just going to mute this till I have this conversation. Yeah, so hey, I'm, I'm, um, I'll be leaving at 12 because obviously I have things to attend to. I could just pass through, kind of, Cameron. This one, this bag. Oh. Oh. Just passed you one. My son's busy doing what I'm at, done a stream for yesterday. My mum's just getting a snack and taking half the kitchen. You have to go over and have a look at it on Coins and More UK. It's actually quite funny. Have you got everything you need now, son? Well, no, but I'll be back. <laughs> You'll be back. To empty the other half of the kitchen. Okay, then you can come back as a special guest star. I must be doing something wrong. I get sent inserts and the letter P, you get sent tons of stuff. Seriously, I'm joking. No one send me anything, please. Um, I think Louise might disagree with you there, Warren. And to be quite honest, they don't send me anything. They send Billy Joe things. And sorry, I do tell a lie. I got sent um, the initials. A and J for my stillborn son. Well, 
which were kindly donated to me from Dragon Lord Steve Fraser, who does has, have his own website and also sells coins. <laughs> yeah, Madeline, we were saying earlier on, you should get um, this idea painted about the magnetic coins before somebody else comes along and steals your idea, honey. because it is fabulous. Especially if there is letters and places and obviously commemorative like this, ideal for children. You would not be able to paint it It's worth looking into, Warren. Morning, Javid. But it's a fab idea anyway, Madeline, even if you can't paint it. It will be worth getting them out now. Um, um, you could actually just set your own site up selling them. You could actually just do it and donate it to charity. But it is fab. Like I say, just put all proceeds, just do a non not for profit. So every coin that is sold is donated. The alarm is all over my skin. See, this is why I go and get them painted. I can't do it myself. Well, that'll be the window cleaner, just like the window should. How very nice. Lloyd. Two seconds, I will just clear the window cleaner. I'm just going to have to knock Moffy's ladder. I'm going to open the door, but never mind.
sorry, winter cleaner was being a bit of a, uh, so you got the lickings on my tongue. Hence why I um, mute the mic. <laughs> because if Madeline doesn't want to do it for any other reason apart from she does it because she likes it. Um, and obviously, it's not for profit. And then. But obviously, if she change her ma changes her mind and wants to do it for a profit, then that's entirely up herself. But I'm sure she was talking to him. Or if not, I'm sure Ian wants to speak to you in me. Guys! Oh, hey! Hey! Hi, John. Um, come here. Mm -hmm. Trying to clean the windows, yeah. Trying to clean the windows. Mm-hmm. Well, he certainly doesn't clean it back. <coughs> My problem is getting enough coins. I'm sure if Floyd I'm sure if um if if you spoke to Ian enough. Yes. If you spoke to Ian, I'm sure you could sort something out with him in regards to the coins, Madeline. Um, <coughs> hi, Jack. Thank you for... Oh, wasn't that Jack? Or is it Jack? Hang on, Jack. No, because she's on Facebook, isn't it? Yes. Right, now I'm confused. See, I don't... Facebook. On Facebook, you're a different person to what you are on YouTube. So I get confused. So I'm sure... Thanks. Um, but I am off at 12, and I'm sure... Somebody is taking over. Yes, we all know Ian is busy this week. He's attending his dad's funeral, just like I'm going to go and do in a minute. I'm going to attend my friend's dad's funeral. Um, so I will be rather busy today, probably not in the mood later on. Um, tomorrow. I'm probably not going to be in the mood again, to be quite frank. Um, so I just thought I'd pop on this morning and just explain that I will come on as and when I can around my family and my friends because we do have a life beyond this stream. Um, however, um, like, share, subscribe to. The Great British Coin Hunt and to myself, Hans Coins. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. And if I don't see you beforehand, I hope you have a fabulous Christmas. <laughs>